Good morning and welcome to the first inaugural Stomach Cancer Survivorship and Patient Advocacy Retreat. So we're going to start today by redefining healthy eating. Instead of listing all of the foods not to eat, let's instead ask what a healthy diet should be doing for our bodies. Eating after a diagnosis of stomach cancer, and especially after gastrectomy, is very hard. It's not very intuitive. And what we've learned in the past many, many years is that people don't get good nutrition advice um, when they're going through treatment or when they're recovering from surgery. So I'm trying to provide, to fill that gap, even for people who aren't treated where I work at NIH, to pro provide them with the resources and references they need to make, uh, to make sure they're getting the right nutrition. Our body is under so much physical stress and that weighs a lot on our mind and our heart and our feelings and our experiences. And, you know, through stress comes a lot of other emotions too, and if we don't acknowledge those emotions, they, they build up over time. You know, I think stomach cancer may be one of those cancers that people deal with or have dealt with, and maybe they don't talk a lot about it. With making art, it really allows us to dig into those deeper levels, to get beyond surface level, and for even parts of the unconscious to come up. And it gives us a place to explore all of our thoughts, our feelings, our experiences, our memories. And it's also a way to kind of externalize all that stuff, right? Every day we're carrying around all of those experiences and those heavy feelings, those heavy thoughts. And by expressing it through art, we're putting it into or onto something that is outside of us. And in doing that, we're kind of taking off a weight too. Patients and their families should feel compelled to tell their story because it's through telling of their own story that they're going to inspire the work of others. They're going to help in terms of advocacy. Uh, and all of that is going to move the field forward. Because if we don't talk about it, you know, not much, not much can happen. It's a really special way to process those feelings without the pressure of finding the words and putting it into a sentence. 